Hello everyone. This is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. I wanted to do the spring fling. I was um, shouted out to do this by several um, channels, including Jamie's Hooked. And like most people, I love the changing of the uh, weather from winter to spring. And I'm going to talk to you about that. Okay. So here we go. The first question. What do you like to do in the spring that you can't do any other time of the year? At the start of spring, I like to plant my garden or flowers. I like to sit outside in the dusk after dinner. And um, can't do that in the winter time. It gets dark too early. Favorite spring flower? I couldn't tell you. I don't really, I love roses, rose bushes. Uh, we used to have a couple of them. Uh, one of them turned wild. The other one died in a drought. We couldn't keep it uh, watered enough. What is your favorite thing about spring? I like the longer days. I like seeing the trees budding, trees budding. Those are two of my favorite. And seeing plants come out of the ground, my perennials. I've got a lot of perennials in my yard. Okay. What is the weather like in your part of the world? Well, here in the middle of the country, in Kansas, we can get, it's relatively mild in the spring most of the time. Uh, in no, uh, May, we get tornadoes. Um, we're lucky, it, the oddest thing is, in 2020, there were no tornadoes at all. I found that odd. I figured they thought we had it, Mother Nature thought we had a terrible enough time with dealing with COVID in 2020. Uh, but normally there's always tornadoes in the area. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things I'm glad for a basement. Um, that is our shelter. Stay in the basement. When do you start your garden? Usually April 1st. Actually, I've got some garlic that I plant in the fall and it germinate. I plant it before the first frost or freeze, at least the first hard freeze, and it germinates all winter long, and then it comes up strong in the spring. So, uh, but normally I plant in early April. Uh, do you celebrate Easter? Yes, I am a Christian. When the children were young, we would have Easter egg hunts outside. And we would uh, color Easter eggs and play with all that food coloring. It was fun. Now they're grown, they're away. Uh, they don't live here anymore, so... But I'm sure we'll repeat that when they have kids. Uh, 
but I do go to church um, and I celebrate with them and I will help out with the Easter egg hunt or whatever we do for the kids. Do you crochet anything special for spring? I would have to say no. I don't crochet anything special unless I see something like uh, Easter related. Um, Easter decorations, Easter baskets. If something catches my eye. But normally I don't. I don't crochet anything special for uh, spring. What is your favorite spring color? I love all the colors. I love the uh, pastel rainbow. But by far my favorite color is teal, seafoam green, aqua, those blue-green mixtures, all shades from light to dark. Uh, do you spring clean? I do what I can. I can't be up on ladders anymore. My balance is too bad. So I can do windows up to a certain extent. And my husband has to get the top of the windows if they're tall. Um, on the outside of the house, I don't wash the outside of the windows where there's no solid ground right under the window because I could put a step stool and hold on to the uh, door or window frame. But if there's no solid foundation at the, like if it's only grass or flower beds, I cannot, I won't put a, um, a step stool on there. But I can do pretty much everything inside the house. Do you go anywhere for spring break? Oh no. Not unless we go to see our kids. Um, but no, I'm not gonna go get trampled by partying college students or anything like that. I think of you no know, spring break, all the college students go down to the beach in um, Daytona Beach, I think, in Florida. Uh-uh, no, not doing that. Uh, the only thing I would do is go see my kids. Uh, they live in another state. So when we go, we go for at least two days, two nights. So that way we have part of a day, a whole day, and then we leave the next morning. Um... And that's it. I've been tagged by several people. Uh, Jamie's Hooked. Passion for Yarn. Michelle J. The Crocheting Dog Mom. Dog Mom. I want to make sure I say that correctly. Um... And the only one I could think of um, shouting out to do this, calling them out to do this right now is Sadie with Newfie Grandma Crochets or Creates. Newfie Grandma Creates. And her name, she is a pretty new channel. 
I figured if Michelle uh, called me out to do it, I can call someone who's got a few more followers. Oh, Samantha Stewart and Alfonso, I don't remember his last name. He lives in Denver. Oh, Billy Chicken Ranch. I will call her Billy Chicken Ranch if she's available. Uh, Alfonso doesn't crochet, but Zach Scraft some more does. So I will try to remember to link those people in the description box. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I thank you all for watching. Have a great one. We'll talk to you later. Bye.